Yo, what's good? It's Josh. Welcome to the channel. Hope you woke up with a nice voluptuous pair of buns right in your face. Whether you did or you didn't, today I'm going to show you how to make an Eric DOA song just like this. Let's dive right into it. The first thing I want to talk about are the vocals. The main thing that's happening on the hook here are layering and harmonizing. And so I have this big intimidating stack of vocals right here. I'm going to break it down one for one, just so you can kind of hear what each layer sounds like and what you should kind of be thinking about when making these songs. Here's what they sound like all together. So first we got this low kind of lead, which doesn't sound that great on its own. Not a singer, fair warning, but here we go. You led me on again and now I'm overthinking. We got that for the processing, a lot of EQ, taking out some of the low, a little NS1, taking out some of the noise, a little compression, auto-tune, retune speed at seven, humanize at 13, set to B major, a little saturation, just beefing it up, a little de-essing, a little fresh air to kind of give it that presence, and then some kind of cleanup EQ, just taking out some more of the lows. So after that, I doubled it left and right, just did the exact same part. You led me on again and then after that i duplicated the track and then created a little pitched up layer people like break-ins do this a lot and this is something you can do to kind of fill out the frequency spectrum in your vocals so what you would do is just take your lead drag it down or duplicate it and then you would either pitch it up in your daw or you would pitch it using a vocal plugin like manipulator little alter boy m auto pitch whatever pitch it up 12 and then change the format of it a little bit and you get something like this on again Here's how it sounds with the other layers so far. You led me on again and now now the timing's pretty loose on this, which means that they're not all lined up perfectly, but if you want that kind of style, make sure to just go in and line them all up on time. So let's keep it moving. Here are what all the harmonies sound like. You led me on again and now I'm overthinking. So we got these little harmonies right here, pan left and right, 40, 40. You led me on again and now I'm Overthinking. This is serving as a mid layer harmony that's just adding emotion to the melody. And then we got these full voice harmonies, and these are more in the center, panned at left 12 and right 12. You led me on again, and now I'm overthinking. Then we got a set of lower harmonies. You led me on again, and now I'm overthinking. Then we got some false set of type stuff, and people like Break Ants, Eric DOA use this stuff all the time. Now I'm going to add each vocal layer one at a time just so you see how they're interacting with each other. Now pretty much the same processing is on each vocal track, but I like to group my backgrounds and then sometimes DS them and then EQ them a little bit differently just to help separate it from the lead vocals. And to do that, I use this FabFilter Pro Q3 and this Pro DSer, but any EQ and DSer would work. These vocals are usually pretty dry, but we can use reverb and delay in certain moments to kind of create air candy type things. Here's an example I did in the pre-chorus of this song. Cause girl, you let me hear on your own. You know you get off on what you control. And I got problems with being alone. And so as you can hear, certain words and phrases have a kind of like tail ambient reverb on them. The way that I like to do that is just to duplicate the track and then add a reverb on there with the mix at 100% wet. Then all you have to do is just drag down the words and phrases that you want to kind of have that reverb tail. And this is what it sounds like. On your own, you know you get off on what you control. And I got problems with being alone. As you can kind of see, it just adds a nice little ambience in certain moments of the song. Cause girl, you let me hear on your own. As far as the instruments go, we just got this little guitar going on. All this is is an acoustic part that I played and I wanted it to have a really like shitty kind of like iPhone type sound to it. So I just recorded it with my iPhone and then imported it into Ableton. Then we got this little re-space, which is an amazing sound to know how to make if you're gonna make these type of tracks. And it's actually really simple. So don't be intimidated by like sound design or any of that kind of stuff. All you need to make this sound is a couple saw waves, detune set pretty high, but then the important part is using a filter. And so you could just use an EQ, but if you're in Serum, you could use one of these, MG Low 24, 18, 12, any of them will do and then just lower the cutoff so it takes away a lot of that top end
Then for some effects, I just added a little hyperdimension, a little distortion, a little chorus, just to kind of beef it up a little bit. And then lastly in this part, I had some saw chords going on, kind of filtering in. And then at the end, I did a little auto pan trick that sounds a little something like this. The way I kind of got that movement on everything is just to add an auto pan with the rate automating. So it goes from really fast to slow. Then once we get to the hook, we have the drums and here's what those sound like. As you can tell, just a really simple pattern going on, but what's cool here are the layers. For the snare, we actually have four different layers and here's what they all sound like. Got this bamboozle snare, the Oliver snare, and then another Oliver snare. And then we also got this filtered little confused snare that was used in the pre-chorus. And here's what they all sound like together. And with these kind of tracks, a lot of times I'll pitch the snares to match the key of the song. So that's what I did here by just transposing this particular one down four. Then we got the kick, which is just the CM Spark life kick. Shout out to him. He has some dope shit. Definitely check him out. Then we got just a typical trap hi-hat. But to make it a little bit more interesting, I added this Dorian electric hat kind of percussion loop just to kind of give it a more ambient vibe. Next, we got the instruments. The first one is this guitar. So I just copied the guitar from the pre. It was originally minus three, so I pitched it up plus nine. And then we got the 808 just following those chords. A little bit of Cymatics Diablo just kind of giving it some more buzz in the top mids. And then we got this cool little serum kind of pad reverse thing. This is actually just a splice preset that I got that's Kara Serum Pad Ocean Waves. Shout out to Kara, she's also dope. Got a couple little transitional sounds from the Nick Mirror Pack. A little crash on the one, which is something I always recommend, either a little crash, impact, or perk, just to kind of emphasize the downbeat. As far as the master goes, we got this little Maserati GRP plugin, just doing some compression on it, ozone, little bit of imaging, kind of just making it a little bit wider and then a little bit of limiting just to kind of squeeze out all that loudness. Then for the second verse, I added a little bit of ear candy. And so this is a technique that I use all the time is just to import some percussion. Sounds a little something like this. And then I pitch it. So like this one like did minus 16 and then you can add a long tail reverb to it and it totally transforms it into like an ambient cool little ear candy thing. And here's what it sounds like in the context of the song. Kind of like some Skrillex type shit, you know what I'm saying? And once you put all that together, it sounds a little something like this. Cause girl you let me hear on your own You know you get off on what you control And I got problems with being alone All I think about is how you left me You left me on again And now I'm overthinking All the things about me That you hate so bad Love you